Great team performance today from the lads, drawing 1-1 against West Hill and United. Uh, some might look at that and think, well, it couldn't have been that good. But as soon as you watch that video, you'll realise how well the team played. Um, West Hill and United are second in the league. They hadn't lost the game yet this season. Um, and for 75 minutes of the match, we were, we were well in it. They did get the first goal and we had to equalise. But you could see from the reaction of the West Hill and players that they knew they'd been in a tough game when they got that goal to put them 1-0 up um, but we you know, got an equaliser and they were just as down in the dumps once they realised that we got a goal back and there was very limited time left in the game um, Milad was my man of the match today, uh, you'll see from the, the video he worked extremely hard on that right hand side he had the, the running of their left back all day long and he was getting hauled down uh, kicked left, right and centre because they just couldn't live with his pace and in the end that was the only way they could deal with him um, and he, he was he was excellent, absolutely excellent. Him and Dan Huppin worked really well for the goal. Um, Milad doing the running and Dan Huppin a bit of intricate play and Dan Huppin side footed it into the net of his uh, right foot. Um, you know, Milad did get bullied and it is something that we're going to have to get used to as a team when they see his threat that he gets from pace, the, the pace that he has, his, the threat that that causes. Teams are going to look to kick him because it's uh, the only way they're going to be able to deal with him and that's something Milad's going to have to learn to live with and take it on the chin and get up and go for the next one um, but he did it He did it well today and uh, I applaud him for his performance another couple of stand-up performances Rob Lamar again you see in the first half there was a couple of times that some of our other goalkeepers that we've had previous years wouldn't have been able to save some of those shots Rob, Rob's been excellent and it, it creates a good spine to the team when we um, we have a goalkeeper that we know we can trust and rely on um, he was coming out right at players' feet, catching the ball, sliding in it. It was it was excellent. Um, John Finn again in the centre of defence. You know he's been an ever present in the team. Captain again, he's excelling. Um, I don't believe he actually went on one of his silly little mazy runs today, which is a a first in a in a reality shirt for John Finn. Um, but again, he was solid and Howard with him as well. Uh, everyone was excellent. Everyone put in 110. percent Wasn't necessarily our strongest 11 players that reality have. But it was the best team performance I've seen by reality in a very long time. Um, you know, everybody lifted everybody, um, and everybody, you know, showed a lot of grit to grind out that performance. You know, we had Joe going off early, having to bring Lex on. Joe just got a little knock to the shin, but he'll be fine. Um, Lex making his debut. You know, you could see that he wasn't necessarily used to playing eleven aside, but he grew into the game, and there's a lot of uh, improvement in his game. Um, I made the bold decision. You know, when we went one 0 down, I hold Kevin off um, wasn't a reflection on his performance I thought he played well on the left wing I just thought we needed something different up top the West and defence had got used to Milad and Dan Huppin's pace so I moved Dan out onto the left and put myself up front and as you would have seen within 30 seconds uh, I was clean through on goal one on one and I probably should have scored I think the question you've got to ask is you know I'm not a striker I'm a centre back I I'll do a job up there target man kind of thing but something we'll have to work on as a team is getting clean through one-on-one -on -one. you know I, I did it within 30 seconds of coming on our strikers haven't managed to do that for pff, however many games this season so it's something we do need to look at maybe work on it I think it's just a f case of getting on there last man and um, playing on the centre back and just look to get in behind you'll see that I got caught off side maybe three or four times but it's built about being in the position where you've got the chance to go clean through one-on-one -on -one, which is what happened um our, our defensive structure was excellent this week. The four two banks of four, um, and we worked really well. You know, we didn't necessarily have a quick back line. Um, Alex, Chris, Howard, and Finney—they're not blessed with pace, but they're blessed with excellent reading of the game, ability in the air, strong in the tackle, and they're all fairly good on the ball, um, which was a, a good platform to build from. Um, it, it was a little bit disappointing this week, and probably the only disappointing thing that we had to make so many changes from last week's excellence performance against AFC Heathrow. Uh, after coming out of a win, you'd like to keep almost the same 11, but it, it was not possible. Um, but we move on to next week. We've got Heathrow Club Reserves, a home game. Um, uh, some of the players that weren't available this week will be coming back. So I think it's going to be a lot of competition for places. And next week may actually be the first week I have to consider dropping some players, um, which will, will be a decision that's going to be tough to make. Um, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, and that's all for this week. Thank you.